Here's an example that will help develop a little bit of intuition about bivariate random variables. The table below gives you the automobile crashes in the United States in 2008 that involve a fatality. So not all crashes, but just those where the loss of life occurred. On the rows, you can see we have the time of day, and that is broken into three hour windows. And on the columns, we have number of non-alcohol impaired crashes and number of alcohol impaired crashes. And you can see here we have the row sums. And here we have the column sums and the total number of deaths in 2008 from automobile crashes is 33,756. On the far right, you can see the percent of alcohol impaired crashes differs quite a bit by time of day. Between midnight and 3 a.m., 64% of the crashes were alcohol impaired. And between 9 a.m. and noon, only 9% were alcohol impaired. Now on the next page, you can see that there is this has been tightened quite a bit. What I have done is I have taken each number in the body of the chart, again ignoring the percentages here, and I've divided them all by 33,756. So if you take this part of the chart and simply divide by 33,756, you will get this particular table right here. Now, random variables have to be quantitative. So we have to make these into numbers here. You can't have non-alcohol impaired and alcohol impaired. You've got to change them into y equals 0, y equals 1. Those are the random variables in this case. And I've arbitrarily chosen x to be the random variable associated with the time of day. And I've chose y to be the random variable associated with whether or not the crash was alcohol impaired. These random variables you recognize as being discrete rather than continuous. Down at the bottom here is something that is known as the marginal distribution, f sub y of y, of y alone. So what that tells you is 68% of the crashes were not alcohol induced and 31% of them were alcohol induced and that's regardless that is ignoring the time of day likewise over here you ignore the whether or not they were uh, alcohol impaired crashes and this will give you what is known as the marginal distribution of x so these are marginal probability mass functions. Why probability mass functions? Because these are discrete random variables. These tell you the distribution of one of the variables ignoring the other variable. Now on the inside of this table are values which we will later pin down as f of xy and these values all of course sum to 1 and this function up here is known as the joint probability mass function. And of course, it's a joint probability mass function because the two random variables are discrete. 